let's talk about quiet time. Hi everyone, it's Miss Jenny and me, Ruthie the Camel, your favorite four-year-old who is a camel. That was beautiful. I know, I just made it up. So hi everyone. Today we are so excited to um, share this time with you and to talk about one of our favorite times that we sometimes like to take alone or together. Quiet time. Oh, quiet time. And I didn't always like quiet time. You didn't? No, Um, because usually it can sometimes be hard for me to, well, to be quiet. It can be hard for me to be quiet too, Ruby. Really? Mm-hmm. It's not just a camel thing. Nope, it's a human thing too. Well, even though I wasn't sure about quiet time or having moments of silence, mm -hmm, I found that when I practiced it, yeah, that I found it really helpful. I found it to to help me feel better. Ruthie, one of the things that you mentioned that I really love mm -hmm, is you said practice, that quiet time is something you like to practice. Yeah, why do you like that? Well, I like that because it kind of, it's kind of like you're saying that it doesn't have to be something that you do for a long time or that you do every day, that it's something that you started trying, practicing, and realized you really appreciated and liked. What are some things that you like about quiet time? Well, the things I like about quiet time is that it, it helps me sometimes feel like I can manage feelings when my feelings feel really big. Mmm, that's a great thing to mention, Ruthie. Yeah, do you ever have big feelings? I do sometimes have big feelings. A lot of the time, actually, not just sometimes. Friends, do you at home ever have big feelings? Yeah, like, feelings so big, they feel like you're just, they're gonna burst right out of your head, or your heart, or your body. They're so big. It's a great way to describe big feelings. Yeah, um, so I found quiet time helped me when my feelings felt big and sometimes a little overwhelming. Sometimes my feelings feeling full can feel like my tummy feeling full. And you find that quiet time can help you with that, some silence. Yeah, it can help me feel better and help things feel more manageable. So Ruthie, mm -hmm. What are some of the things you like to do during your quiet time or during your moments of silence? Um, I like to color or draw by myself. Oh, that's, that's a great idea. And sometimes when we're at home and if someone new comes over, mm -hmm, it can feel overwhelming like we talked about. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'll just find a space to go and draw or color until I feel ready to share time with a new person. That's wonderful, Ruthie. Thank you for sharing that. Mm -hmm. What do you like to do for your quiet time? Oh, that's a great question, Ruthie. Um, I like to take a nap or, or um, even if I don't sleep, just close my eyes and lay down for a little bit. Oh, I love sleeping. Me too. Um, I also find that water helps me for quiet time or silence time. So sometimes I may take a shower or a bath. Oh yeah, I like that too. I'd love to hear from all of you too. Is there anything you like to do by yourself that's quiet or having a moment of silence? Maybe yoga, or going on a walk. That's a good idea too, Ruthie. Well, we can't wait to hear from you, friends. Um, and we hope you find a little time for quiet throughout your day. Thanks, everybody. Bye.